Good evening, hello and welcome. You are with CNN News 18. I'm Anusha Sonia. Top focus this hour are some reactions coming in on the abstention of the TMC as far as the vice presidential elections are concerned. Let's go to that breaking down. The opposition's vice president candidate, Margaret Alba, reacts to TMC's decision to abstain from voting in the upcoming elections. She says, and I'm quoting, the TMC's decision to abstain from voting in the upcoming elections is disappointing. This isn't the time for what about for you, ego or anger. This is the time for courage, leadership and unity. I believe Mamta Banerjee, who is the epitome of courage, will stand with the opposition unquote. So that's the word coming in from uh, Margaret Alva. My colleague Pallavi Ghosh with us on the broadcast. Pallavi, the reaction on expected lines? Yes, absolutely. And you know, the interesting fact, Anusha, is that Margaret Alva and Mamata Banerjee were actually very good friends and both of them are in the Youth Congress at one point of time. So their friendship and their association actually goes back a long time back. And both of them at that point of time were praised by Rajiv Gandhi for being two feisty women politicians in the Congress party. And that's exactly what she's trying to say, that, you know, she is an epitome of strength, someone who symbolizes that, and therefore Mamata Banerjee needs to strengthen the hand of another woman. Uh, there have been appeals which have gone in from the Congress party to Mamata Banerjee to rethink a decision which, frankly speaking, I think is quite unlikely at this point of time. Palavi, uh, a lot of political chatter about why this decision was taken. Is there a backroom understanding between the TMC and the BJP? Give us your perspective. Well, I mean, the, the, the Srinamool Congress would be horrified to hear that because they claim that they are the only ones who've got the strongest voice speaking out against the BJP. And when they're going to come back to Parliament from next week, I'm sure they're going to be very aggressive. But what TMC top sources told us is that, first of all, they were very upset about the fire. They were only called up early that morning mm -hmm. uh, of the opposition party meeting. And the second thing is the decision of calling off shots was actually taken by Sita Ram Yachiri. And we know mm -hmm. the bad blood between the TMC and the left. Mm -hmm. And therefore, anything which can be proposed by Sita Ram Yachiri would be rejected by Bhamta Banerjee. But I think moving beyond that politics very quickly, I don't think the Congress part, I mean, the Tirumul Congress wanted to be seen on the side of the Congress plus the left in a choice which was majorly meant made by these two parties. And Palavi, going forward, like we saw in the presidential elections, will this be a cakewalk for the NDA? Oh, yes, absolutely. Even if the Trinamool Congress had decided to support Mar uh, Margaret Alva, hmm. I think even then the numbers were stacked in favor of Jagdeep Zankar. But now with the abstention, you know, uh, uh, with the Trinamool Congress abstaining, it's just going to make it so much more easier for the BJP, which is why there's this old chatter in the backroom corridor hmm. that there could be a kind of a, some understanding between the TMC and the B uh, BJP. And, uh, you know, also talking about the much-spoken issue of the so-called opposition unity. I think that's only a notion now because on critical political issues, opposition parties have failed to unite as a bloc. Oh, yes, absolutely, absolutely right. I mean, look at the irony of it yesterday mm -hmm. in the morning. The entire opposition got together, issued a statement in support of Sonia Gandhi. You also have Amta Banerjee making a similar kind of statement in Kolkata by evening. That opposition really seems to be crumbling. Again, this morning, there was another show of strength by the opposition to show that they were fighting together on the issue of GST. But obviously, it's a mirage. It's obviously something which seems non-existent, and you're right, mm -hmm. on very... When it comes to critical issues, there doesn't seem to be one. Uh, Pallavi,